Okay, before I start, uh, I just need to tell you why I stopped making videos. There's two reasons. Number one is it's because I've been stuck in my own head trying to get into this expectation of, oh, I gotta do this type of video. Oh, I gotta do this. Gotta do that. Gotta do. Gotta live up to that one video. Oh, it's so good. Trying to du duplicate that end. Then I realized like, I can't, bro. That was just one fluke, bro. That was just one fluke out of so many failed attempts, and I can't replicate that. And the second one is a segue to this, the topic of this video. I've been making art solely for content purposes, background, background stuff. You know, the, the animations and the art that I've been making on the backgrounds of videos, yeah. I've been fed up with that. I did not like that at all. I... It sapped the fun out of making art. And... When something... gets the fun sapped out of it, like, why even bother? And so, I thought about it more. Like, why am I, why do people make art? Why am I making art? Am I just... And there's three, three reasons why people tend to make art as far as I know. Number one is for grinding grinding oh I gotta do better I oh, gotta I gotta do this do a bunch of studies I do gotta do this that that so that I can uh, get better at art so that it can be more technically impressive and the reason why that just does not work for some people it obviously works for some people but for others it also saps the fun out of making art because the only thing on your mind is less about the craft itself and more about uh, what aspects of this do I remove, what aspects do I change, what aspects do I emphasize and just it, it somehow gets lost. Like, the, the actions, for action's sake, are getting lost for the purpose of improvement, and it's kind of soulless? I wouldn't say soulless. I mean, there's obvious intent on what you're trying to do with art. But then, I don't know, where's the fun in that? The second is for content purposes. Content, uh, growing on social media, growing on YouTube, making time-lapse videos for YouTube so that you can market your art to the world. And that it also feels kind of draining. It feel, for me at least, for other people, like, okay, they're probably used to it, they probably like it, that's, the, that's probably the sole reason why they do it. And if that's you, good for you, man. Like, you can have fun. You can have lots of fun. Fun trying to market yourself and grinding. But I'm just not that kind of guy. And making art solely for content feels like you're just making that so that you can put it on a video. You could just put it on a video when you could put something 
else that's kind of low effort like gameplay or gameplay or other other videos of people doing that gameplay and s instead you chose to uh, do the high effort the high effort stuff just for it to be put on the background of a video and do you want that do you want your high effort masterpiece or whatever like the thing you're trying to do you think that's so good but then it only be relegated to a uh, background art or background time lapse shit ask yourself that question if you say yes good for you if no then i don't know and lastly is making art for the sake of making cool shit. It's, this is honestly like the most joyous reason for making art. Making art for making for just for the hell of it, you know. The, what else? What what other reason does there need to be for you to make cool shit other than like I don't know because it's cool, it's fun, it make uh, funny pictures. And I'm at that point where Oh I Oh I could just make f make fun art for the sake of making fun art. Oh I can make depressing art for the sake of making depressing art. You just make art for the sake of art. And that to me was the realization that I had when taking a break for i i don't know how many months long i haven't touched youtube youtube make i haven't touched making youtube videos in a while it's because of the second reason where i just made content for the sake i made art for the sake of making content and after i got burnt out i realized that oh i could just make f art for the sake of making art for just putting it out there and just Make sure it exists. And making sure that every stroke on that page, every shape that defines a feature, every space not filled by a tone, by making sure that every erasure every stroke is out there it, it's cathartic it makes me feel like ah, I could just do this and it already brings me so much joy just making art for the sake of making art and I'm not going to if it's some other reason, then put it down in the comments below. I won't shame you if you do it for for the sake of being better at art, being better than your peers, or putting it out there for the sake of content. I won't judge you because I've been through that too. And it, it takes some time to realize that you can just make art for the sake of it and you don't have to think about anything else you don't have to I'm sorry I get, just got a little sidetracked so TLDR if if you're making art it's probably one of these three reasons one year you're making it for like for the sake of improvement, number two, for the sake of content, and three, for the sake of it existing. <laughs>